Hey guys, uh, today we're going to work on the last part of the carabiner pen. Uh, this one requires a little bit of uh, on-shape trickery to get right because uh, it's a little bit of a complicated piece. So again, remember that you can pause and rewind the video as you're working through this and let me know if you have any questions. Okay, so first things first, we're going to jump into our on-shape uh, document that we have been using for this project. So again, make sure that you are in your document in myips.onshape. Alright, so for this one we're actually not going to create a new part studio. This time we are going to jump into the part studio for the carabiner top. Now the reason for this is that we are trying to model something that fits perfectly in this really unique shape connector here. So what we're actually going to do is we are going to be working on a sketch that we've already made. So I'm just looking through my my sketch menu, my feature menu here, uh, and I see sketch number five. Now I'm just going to open this so you can see, not sketch five, sorry, uh, sketch number six. There we go. Now you can see that sketch six has the shape that we need there, right? So. Previously, we used this sketch to remove the shape, but this time we're going to use that sketch to extrude and add it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the extrude button, and I'm going to click sketch 6, and it's going to try to create that shape as an add. We want to go to new, and instead of going to blind, we're going to go to symmetric here and the dimension that we need is going to be uh, 0.264 I believe yeah now that looks a little chunky right now but we'll fix that in a minute now you may have remembered that when we did this sketch originally our radius for the sides here wasn't perfect uh, and that's okay really what's important for this is that we get these connectors to line up uh, and we'll get rid of those curves a little bit here in just a minute. Okay, so we've got the primary connection there. Uh, what we need to do now is add the part down here that, that connects to the pin uh, that allows this thing to kind of open and shut. So to do that, we are going to create a new sketch. And we are going to do that on the front face. So let me zoom out here and unhide my view planes. So I'm going to create a sketch on the front. And then I'm going to zoom in on my part here. And what I'm going to basically do is I'm going to follow the curve of this shape uh, and create two lines that create a square. So the first line is going to go up here. And I'm just going to draw it first. And then I'm going to make it so that that line is coincident with this bottom line right here. Because that's going to be where the beginning of this shape takes place. Then I'm going to draw another horizontal line down here. Again, oops. Make sure that it's horizontal. We want to make sure it's got that horizontal constraint that's applied. You can see it with that yellow line there. And the distance between these two lines using the dimensioning tool should be 0.175. I also need to make it so that the ends of these lines are touching the curve. So I'm going to go ahead and add a coincident constraint to these points so that they are on those curves. So now I should have an enclosed two line space. And I just need to add uh, some three-point arcs to approximate the curvature of this. And I'm going to try my best to get this as close as I can. It doesn't have to be perfect. But we do want it to be relatively the same size as the overall profile. It's pretty close. All right, so now we have this enclosed space. You can see that it's enclosed because it turns gray. So I'm going to go ahead and extrude this. 
and it's going to try to do it as a new. We want to go to add. It's going to freak out for a minute, but when we switch to symmetric, and I, when we change our numbers, that will fix itself. So we're going to put that to be 0 0.106. You can see it's no longer freaking out. Now the reason that we're using 0 0.106 is because that gives us equal spacing on either side so that there aren't any part collisions in onshape. All right. But here's the problem. Now that we've done this, there is a little bit of a problem where there's no spot here for that to stick through. So we're going to be a little bit tricky again. So I'm going to go up through my, my feature menu here and I'm going to look for the sketch and the extrusion where we added the hole it looks like it's sketch 8 and extrude 7. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drag those to the bottom of our, our workspace there. And then I'm going to open that extrude again. And I'm going to select merge with all. And you can see now, because I have it merging with part 1 and part 2, and we'll rename those in a second, it's applying that hole through both shapes. So they both have the exact same size of a hole and we don't have to mess with all of that. All right, the last thing we need to do here is we need to apply our fillet to this to match the profile of the carabiner clip. So I'm gonna use the fillet tool and I'm just gonna go around and click on each of these edges. And I'm gonna make that 0 0.1 because that's the same as our original shape, and for some reason that's been difficult. Let's try 0.08. I'm going to try 0.1 again. Doesn't want to do that. Let's try 0.09. I'm going to go with 0.09 for mine because for some reason my on shape is uh, being a little bit difficult. All right, so that is the clip in there. It's a little bit chunky on that side and I don't know why. Maybe it's just the way that Onshape is rendering it. But the next thing that I'm going to do here is I am going to go ahead and throw this into our assembly. Oh, before we do that we need to rename these. So our, our part one in this is our carabiner top and part two is the part that we just component, uh, just modeled. So that is the carabiner clip. I'm going to go ahead and reassign the material color to orange, since the pen that I used was orange. All right, now I'm gonna go into assembly. I'm going to insert this new part, which is gonna be under carabiner top in the model. You just gotta click the drop down there. There it is. Drop this guy in, click the checkbox. Okay, the last thing that we need to do is we're going to use a Revolute Mate on this guy. And we are going to connect the inside face of the left side of this clip to the inside face of the left side of this. And we'll need to do an offset because it's touching the side and it's not centered. So I'm just going to plug in an offset here and see how we'll see what it looks like. So let's try negative 0 0.0125. Wrong way. Let's try 0 0.0125. Am I still going the wrong way? Negative 0 0.0125. That's too far, so let's try um, negative point zero one. Still too far. Negative point zero zero five. That's getting somewhere. Just reorienting so I can see better. That's pretty close. So let's try negative point zero zero six. Wrong way. I think that looks good. I'm also going to uh, apply a limit here for when this guy rotates because I don't want it to clip into the other side of the carabiner. So I'm going to put in a limit of 
negative 35 and 0 and I'm using that because in my tests that was the correct direction and what looked like it was right just in case you wondered where those numbers came from and that seems to look okay to me we don't have any outrageous problems there it looks like the way it's supposed to work so you can see that we can clip it we can also unscrew the top and that is the end of our 3D modeling for the clip. So that should get you all of the necessary parts for this 3D modeling project. The next step is to create your replacement model for the carabiner top. Um, I would recommend that you uh, kind of experiment with changing some of the dimensions on the original model. Obviously make a duplicate of the part studio and kind of see how you can meet some of those design constraints as you work through that. If you have any questions or if you're not sure where to, shirt, uh, where to start, uh, let me know and I'm happy to help you figure that out. I'll see you guys in class.